This is the Res 2. First video, we're going to go over the Res 2 wheels that I'm about to change out. The wheels you're looking at are DES Racing, like specific wheels. They come with calipers and rotors, all metal. And you can see they screw in as well with five actual small screws. And that's what caused them to have issues. A little mechanism that connects all of that, the adapters and every every little thing just doesn't work. So they get loose over time and I'm gonna just take them off because I'm tired of dealing with it. There's nothing wrong with the wheels themselves. It's just the way they attach. And I'm not a big fan of having to maintenance that every, <laughs> every 45 minutes to an hour. So, hey, peace of mind. Here you can see that the five screws poke out of the actual wheel, so they actually screw into the little adapter right here. And then you have the axle that screws into the adapter. Yeah, so three sets of screws, or I should I say two sets of screws that screw into each other and then it makes the whole system. Let's change it out for something simple. The front's the same. Uh, the screw is just behind the bearing. It's nothing against the wheels. It's all about the longevity or lack of maintenance, I guess. So I just changed it out for some regular stuff, you know, put the hex and then the pin and then the regular axle uh, shaft. And then on the front, the same thing. And then those are Tetsujin Lycoris or Licorice, Lycrosis, something like that. And now we have the Res 2 in the copper cage. I wanted mine to look a little different. Obviously, plenty of people have done copper cages, but I'll make a build video on that. And then we're going to close it out with some scale accessories from SRC. So this is a little teaser video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really wanted to use the Res 2 wheels, but I couldn't. Thank you for watching. Keep God first. I'll catch you on the next video.